Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to review Clockify. The first thing that I'm going to review are pricing plans, then I'm going to show you the walkthrough of the whole tool and also I'm going to show you the top features that I like in Clockify and then I'm going to talk to you about alternatives to Clockify that you can use. So without further ado, let's start. The one thing that I personally really like about Clockify is that you can use it completely for free forever. Unlimited users, tracking, projects. Now yes, you have the pricing plan that you can use and you can upgrade for more features, but even the free version is going to be really enough. And let me show you. The first basic one is going to give you the at a time for others, uh, then also required fields, a decimal format, time audit, import time, pin and break. Then like in the standard version, you're going to see the timesheet and billing that you can have time off. You can have invoicing here. Uh, then also QuickBooks integrations, manager role. Then in a pro version, you can go with uh, the scheduling with the expenses, budget and estimates. And this seems more as like, let's say accounting tool similar to ZippoBooks or Wave accounting or FreshBooks accounting. Where, and this is really great. Then you have options to have scheduled reports, force time or GPS tracking. And then you're going to have the enterprise. So what I really like about the pricing plans, they are not that expensive. They are pretty cheap. That's the first one. And even the pricing of the free account that it's completely for free. It's a huge plus. Now I'm not paid by Clockify to make this review. I just really like the tool. So here let's start and how it works. So what I'm going to do first, let's say I'm going to add a client. So I can add a client, let's say Marcus client. I can add also the project and project name is going to be YouTube channel. Apply. Or create a new project like this YouTube channel. I'm going to select a client, Marcus client. And if I have a template, I need to upgrade for that. I'll press create. Now we have the project, we have the client. We can simply add a team here and then have also the tags here, which can be, let's say, YouTube attack click add. Now then I can simply go to time tracker. And what are you working on? Let's say I'm going to have a plus project and YouTube channel. Okay. And let's say I'm working on YouTube video. What I can do is to click here if it's going to be billing or no. I can have a tag here. And then I click start here. Of course, you can have also the integrations here. So I'm going to click start. I can enable timesheet mode. So that's what you can do. And start time, let's say it's going to be 1311. So we have like, let's say one hour. And then what you're going to do is just click stop here. There is also extension that you can use for Clockify, of course. Now you can see that we have the today Okay. And for one hour, you can simply also add a manual timer here. So let's say it was this for project, this one, and it was from 10 to 11. And then I can simply add, let's say it was for yesterday. And then I can add. So you have option to add a timer or you have option to uh, like track the time by ourselves. Now, when you got it, what you can do is to simply go on the dashboard and here we got it. Look, total time this week or this month, I see that I got uh, in Sunday or in Monday, I got two days for this project that even the analytics and the overview of the whole Clockify is pretty straightforward and fast. Now, as you can see, you see like uh, many more options here as a kiosk. And then I can simply go and show more here and I can have schedule expenses, time of activity, but all these are in a paid plan. Now here in a timesheet, I can activate kiosk, new project by default, if they're available, if they're public. So all of these, you can have the working days that you can change in the settings, all the important stuff. Now in a kiosk, I can create one. Uh, 
Now OK. And this is the URL. And people will need to like log in there. I can click launch and you need to log into kiosk. So here, that's how you do it. And also you got the kiosk option. Now, what are some uh, options comparing to Clockify to use? So you can have toggle, you can have timely, you can have also hub staff, uh, time camp, T sheets, time doctor, my hours. So a lot of applications that you can actually use, which are pretty great. Like toggle is the biggest competition to that and also timely is pretty great you get also mm, let's say t-sheets that's also a good one that's from uh, the quickbooks that's interesting application too that you can check out other than that like Clockify is an amazing application and I recommend definitely to test it out by yourself to see if you actually like it you can have also the extension which you got also really good uh, reviews So that's pretty great on how you can use it and how it works. And if you can have any questions, guys, regards Clockify, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes. So. Yeah, and that's it. This was a Clockify review, Clockify Walker, Clockify pros and cons. I don't really see any cons here personally. Clockify pricing plan, and also that's pretty like cheap one. And uh, I give Clockify nine out of ten. Also, it's fast, it's simple, and you're not going to make a mistake if you use it. So. Thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.